What's up guys, E-Rod here, and today I'm going to be talking about the 2018 Ford F-150 5.0 with the 10-speed transmission. Uh, a lot of y'all have been having some uh, issues with the transmission, saying uh, some of y'all have problems on the highway, saying it kinda, it's kind of jumpy. Some of y'all say when it's when you're in the city, uh, with light presses, it's... it's uh, Going through the gears kind of harsh, kind of boggy, kind of rough. And, uh, you know, that's what mine's been doing. Uh, I bought it used uh, in 2019, and uh, it's a 2018 5.0 with a 10-speed. Uh, I took it to the dealership the first time, and, uh, you know, they couldn't find nothing wrong with it. They said uh, they said nothing's wrong with it. They can't, and if it's still doing it, just bring it back. So, you know, it's still under the powertrain warranty, so I'm at 45,000 miles. So I went back and I, you know, I started, uh, went as business as usual. I took it back. I started driving and I noticed, uh, the transmission, you can check the transmission temp and when it gets to 195, it started kind of doing it. It felt like a loss of power or getting on the highway. It was boggy driving it around a shopping center, uh, with light presses. It would bog, bog a little bit. You know, it just, it just wasn't getting, it just, it just doesn't feel fun to drive. And, you know, it's letting me down. So I said, no, nah, man, I'm taking it again. So I went back and I told the service advisor, there's something wrong. It's not driving smooth. I'm, I'm just not happy driving it. So the service advisor, he took it on Friday. They gave me a call. It stayed over the weekend. They called me on Tuesday morning. Yeah. The advisor said that the guy, he couldn't find nothing wrong with it. No, actually, I took him for the advisor for a ride. and He felt what I was talking about. Uh, right before I left it, you know, then it stayed for the weekend. They got, uh, they called me on Tuesday. They said they couldn't, the guy working on the car in the Ford dealership couldn't find a problem. So he passed it on to a master mechanic. The master mechanic, they call me eight hours later. <laughs> it's like they always call you back at the end of the day. Master mechanic said he's not finding any problems wrong with it either. I said, man, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Even the service advisor felt it. It's, it's, uh, it's 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 boggy it feels like it wants to bog out or sh the shifting is whack and uh, i can i can understand it's a 10 speed and it's you know they i hear they're jumpy but this one's a little this one's a little it's not shifting very good at all so i said well well he goes well why don't you just go let me get the mechanic let me take a ride with you so i took a ride with the mechanic and i i did a little light going a little i drive with a light foot I was driving real slow, getting on the highway. I wanted him to feel the highway, off the highway, letting him feel where it's kind of, you know, as I'm lightly pressing it, and uh, you know, it would feel like you know it would it would hang up and then go and it hang up and go like kind of bogging, like almost like it just needs some spark plugs or something. So I did a we did a loop around, got on the highway, came back, and then I said he's like he's looking at he he hooked it he had the truck hooked up to a scan tool his computer his computer and a scan tool and you know he had the graph he was showing the graph and everything we pulled over he got on it then we traded and he test drove did the same thing or loop around and he had a hard heavy foot he drove hard i mean he just got on it did the same loop came back and i said well so are you, you know are you feeling it and he's like i'm not really feeling Anyway, he drove back. We got to the service advisor. And he's like, the service advisor came up to us. So, uh, you know, can you feel what he's talking about? And so then he looks at me and he he's looking at his computer and he's saying, your truck, uh, he goes, when you're driving on the foot, you have a light, you know, you have a light press and it's electronic. It's, there's no wire down there. It's electronic. Uh, it's electronic throttle body. So when you're driving, you're kind of going and you're kind of tapping off and you're going. He said, it's telling the computer that you're letting off and then you're kind of going back and it's, it's, that's what's making the, the, the truck bog. And I'm like, man, well, I have a V6. I have two other V6 Fords with electronic throttle body and they're not doing that. And he's like, well, these cars, these trucks, they they have adaptive learning. They, they learn how you drive. And... Uh, that, and they shift uh, from learning how you drive. Well, I said, you know what? Well, I bought it used. Maybe it's still driving, you know, how the last owner drive. And we drive, we drive totally different. 
so his thing was okay well you know i can reset the i can reset the adaptive learning uh table and uh let you uh let you uh let it learn how you drive and i was like well okay and then he said or i could turn it off i can turn off the adaptive learning and then it'll drive the way Ford uh Ford wants you to drive it it'll be for uh that's the you turn the tables off so there's no adaptive learning and it drives the way Ford wants you to drive. Well, I was like, well, duh, that sounds better. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather drive the, learn how to drive the truck than to learn how to drive how, how I drive. Or then my wife gets in it and she drives totally different. And, uh, it's going back to square one again. So he's like, all right, well, I'll, I'll turn it off. And then, uh, you know, he just turns off. He, he folds the laptop down, unplugs, starts unplugging the computer and it starts to get out of the truck, and I'm like, "Hey, whoa, whoa! So, when are you gonna take it to the truck back?" He goes, "No." He goes, "I already did it." He goes, "I just turned it off on the computer. I, I turned it off." He just it was a simple click. You know, he starts telling me these, these trucks they got like they have ten computers on board, and you just got to tell them which one to what. I just told the computer to tell your transmission to that it's now adaptive learning is off, and it's gonna drive the way Ford wants you to drive it. I was like, "All right." So we go back to the advisor and the advisor, you know, it's under powertrain. So he didn't charge me because it's still under the five year, 60,000 mile powertrain. So he starts typing up. Uh, so he just types up that the uh, master mechanic uh, disabled the adaptive learning, turned it off. Customer happy. I ain't even drove the thing yet. Customer happy. And, it, and he typed it up and called it a day and sent me off on my way. So, uh. You know, I got in the vehicle, I drove it home, and then I uh, I took it from Austin to uh, Lake Brownwood for the weekend. Uh, me and my wife went to Lake Brownwood, and I drove it all over the place. I drove it back, and <laughs> man, just a simple turning off the adaptive learning and, and, and putting it the way Ford, wanted, Ford wants you to drive it, it fixed everything. It fixed everything, and uh, you know, I'm just in... in and disbelief, all that hard shifting and the boggling, it drives so much better, so much smoother. Uh, you know, I can't believe it. Everything's electronic. Everything's computer nowadays on these on these newer trucks, newer vehicles. He basically told the computer to not learn how I drive or not learn how the previous owner drive and just be disabled and learn and drive the way forward wants the truck to drive and that fixed the entire problem mind blown mind blown so anyways i i hope this video helps you out if you're having the same issues that uh, a lot of people are having on these 10 speed trucks 2017 to 2020 uh ford should do that anytime they sell a used truck with a 10 speed they should just disable it i'm not sure why they they even sell the trucks with it, learned how the previous owner has driven. It just don't make no sense. You know, nothing makes sense. Uh, but, you know, everything works a lot better, a lot smoother. Take it to the dealership. If you're having the problems on the harsh shifting, uh, take it to the dealership. Tell them to turn off the adaptive learning table. Disable it. Uh and uh, it's going to fix the problem. <laughs> it makes a world of difference. Uh, does it still drive a little kind of funny? I mean, it's still dry because it's a 10-speed, but it's way, 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 way better. Way better. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I hope this helps. hope this video helps. And, uh, you know, good luck. Good luck. Hopefully, what will work for me will work for you. And, and you'll, you won't have to drop in a new transmission. <laughs> but uh, good luck. And uh, thanks for watching.